if by any chance there is uh, someone here who has not, uh, does not know Jafar Panahi, who has not seen any film by him, uh, he is a very young filmmaker. He was born in 1960. He is uh, a protege of the Doyen of Iranian cinema, Abbas Kiarostami. And uh, in fact, he acted uh, uh, as, uh, as an assistant director in the 1994 masterpiece of Kiarostami, Through the Olive Trees. And it was th uh, during the shooting of Through the Olive Trees that uh, uh, the idea of uh, uh, Jafar Panahi's first film, The White Balloon, uh, was being discussed uh, by them in one of those endless road scenes that uh, Kiarostami is, uh, is fond of. Uh, and Kiarostami ended up writing the script for his uh, uh, White Balloon. And that collaboration continued. Uh, and those of you who know Kiarostami's cinema, you will be perhaps surprised by how astonishingly and directly political Jafar Panahi's cinema uh, is based on Kiarostami's uh, uh, scripts. Uh, this is the penultimate film of uh, uh, Jafar Panahi, it's, uh, from 2003. It was premiered in Cannes in, uh, in the section called Stefan Regard and won the jury prize for it. After this uh, film in 2006, he made his uh, last uh, feature film, uh, Offside. And uh, in all of these films, beginning with uh, uh, White Balloon and ending with Offside, but including this and the film that he made before this ca called Circle, uh, you see uh, Jafar Panahi in his absolute best. Uh, a cinema of mature filmmaker that is deeply rooted in the social uh, uh, issues and social problems of his, of his land, of his country. And it is precisely that measured balance be between cinema as art and, and the, the responsibility of an artist as a, as a citizen that you will see having come together. Can you comment on economic disparity in Tehran or in Iran in general? I mean, the film is kind of suggested that violence is um, ready to erupt any time because of um, this kind of social issues. Uh, Law, your question is absolutely apropos what this movie is about, namely uh, the uh, hidden and structural violence, which is violence uh, that has to do with the economic disparity. Uh, a key scene is when he's delivering pizza to one of his former uh, comrades in, in the war front. And now he has made it and has become very rich. And uh, uh, he doesn't even want to recognize who he is and, and so forth. Uh, this, the economic boom is in the aftermath of the Iran-Iraq war. Iran-Iraq war, you recall, was 1980, 1988. Uh, a year after that, Khomeini dies, 1989. And then we have eight years of uh, post-war reconstruction under the presidency of Akbar Hashemi uh, Rafsanjani. And uh, a, a new class of uh, nouveau riche is, uh, is generated by virtue of uh, massive oil money that comes in. And uh, a new class are the beneficiaries of the uh, relatively new liberal economics that he, uh, he initiates. Uh, but contrary to uh, late President Reagan's assumption of trickling down, the, the nothing was trickling down. And uh, uh, that uh, economic disparity continues into the next eight years of presidency of uh, uh, Khatami. And now, of course, you have uh, certain social reforms that Khatami addresses and pertains to those who were the economic beneficiaries of uh, the former eight, uh, previous eight years under Hashimi Rafsanjani. And uh, as a result, when it came to the uh, presidential election of 2002-2003, uh, 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 when uh, the first term of the uh, election of Ahmadinejad, uh, there was uh, an, a rough estimate of 15 million eligible voters who were neither the beneficiaries of the economic reform of uh, Hashemi Rafsanjani nor were they particular about the social reforms of uh, uh, Khatami and as a result the vote uh, 
to the degree that you can trust voting in Islamic Republic went to Ahmadinejad. Uh, so yes, economic disparity remains fundamental to uh, the, the film. And also the hidden violence that is, uh, uh, there are a number of the, the, this last scene of this uh, gaudy apartment uh, that uh, is entirely empty. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, wonderful way that Panahi slash Kiarostami work, the discrepancy between what you hear and what you see, uh, that, that's where the, the dis dissonance, uh, visual and audal dissonance are uh, generated. Uh, another very violent scene is when for, when for the first time Hussein and his fiance go into that jewelry shop and there is this astonishing body language of violence uh, so far as uh, uh, they're being told that they are not welcome there, this is not their place, they should go downtown and uh, shop in a different place. So there are a number of uh, ways that this hidden violence is, uh, is evident. Uh, but in a way, because uh, Panahi is always a master of showing signs of violence, but not the source of violence. Uh, the classical example, as I said, is uh, in B White Balloon, that you see the signs of violence on the young boy's face, but you never know, you, you sort of surmise that probably this is by the father. And in, in this entire, the entirety of this film is a post-war, post-revolution cinema. So the source of violence, uh, namely the revolution and the war, are actually hidden but you see the manifestation of violence in society, in body language, in, in uh, the way people behave towards each other. Perhaps in a comparative context, uh, you may consider, for example, absolute masterpiece of American cinema uh, that you may have seen, Dead President, the, the Hughes Brothers, uh, 1995 film, Dead President, that you have a number of uh, 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 Vietnam War veterans coming back to Bronx and engaging in robbery and so forth. But in uh, that president, you actually see scenes of violence in Vietnam. And then you see the continuation here uh, in the United States. Whereas in, uh, in Crimson Gold, you don't see the war. Uh, you see uh, the, the blank face of Hussein, this poker face of Hussein, is, I think, is one of the uh, masterpiece creations of uh, of Kiarostami and, and Panahi. Also, he's cast perfectly. He has this blank poker face that you can't, and he doesn't talk too much. And uh, uh, as a result, he's a perfect character for him to come into the scene and become the terra incognita uh, upon which then the violences are, are mapped out. And there's a hidden violence in him that I think is reflected throughout the, the, uh, throughout the film. And as a result, uh, if you look at the structure of the film, it is a flashback. It begins with, uh, with a violent scene. It ends with a violent scene that is more or less visible. But even the last scene, you don't actually see. You hear violence. You don't see it. Uh, then in between, you have hidden violence, uh, economic disparities and uh, class warfare and, and so forth. Uh, and the, his blank face is a perfect sight, S-I-T-E for the reflection of that uh, violence. But uh, if structurally you look at two manifested violence and uh, a, st a stretch of hidden violence, then at the center remains that, in my judgment, absolute masterpiece of the sequence of he, uh, which I hope you didn't lose, uh, standing in front of a party uh, when young kids are dancing uh, uh, up in, a, in, a, in, a, in an apartment, and one by one they come down, uh, and uh, then they're arrested. You remember that scene? And he's, he's standing with his pizzas, pizzas are, are getting cold, and there is a scene that the, the horrid uh, 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 fragmentation of Iranian society. You have parents worrying about their kids, you have the morality police trying to arrest them, you have kids coming back from the party and ending, ending up in a in a van about to be uh, arrested. A uh, young soldier who is sort of coming to, of age and is interested, curious, and so forth about what's happening up, up there. And then uh, he, Hossein, realizes that, uh, that the pizza is getting cold, gets permission from the chief guy, 
and begins uh, one of the greatest sequences in Iranian cinema, going around this uh, gathered community of fragmented society in a gesture of simply giving them pizzas. But in my judgment, this is a simulacrum of Eucharist, of, of uniting them uh, together. is is a cascade of love just by offering a pizza. Cascade of love in an otherwise deeply violent, deeply disturbing uh, film. 